Dun 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 Operation Tate and Right. Here we go. 60 day self care challenge. Let's do this. So, welcome to Empty Nested's first self care challenge. So, I'm gonna show you how I set goals for myself and keep myself accountable. And hopefully you can incorporate some of these tips in goals that you have that you'd like to achieve. Oh, we have a visitor. Star of the show. Lady Koi. Today we are gonna be talking about launching Operation Tight and Right. We are launching a mission. We are going to feel good about ourselves and we are going to take care of ourselves. So this is not a regular fitness plan. This is gonna to describe to you how you can create your own self-care challenge. I'm gonna show you examples of how I create myself a plan, but I want you to really just take these tips and then create one for yourself that's based on your lifestyle and your goals. So follow along and I'll show you how we do it. All right, so why do a challenge? I find for me a challenge can just be a fresh way to get back on track with a goal that I have. So you can create a challenge on basically anything. It could be drinking more water, it could be making your bed every day, it could be working out more, it could be so many different things. But I'm gonna take you along on the challenge that I'm gonna be doing for the next 60 days and feel free to follow along on my challenge or kind of gear it towards your own lifestyle or goals. What I decided that I wanted to start a challenge was because I've just really not been consistent in the gym and I really always feel best when I'm working out consistently. It makes me feel strong. It makes my head clear. Like I just find it's really good for mental health and just overall well-being. I just wanna feel like toned and tight for spring and summer coming up. So those are gonna be the things that I'm gonna be focusing on. <music> Okay, so my goals with this challenge are to feel confident, to feel tight and toned, and to feel comfortable in a bikini, and to just feel strong. So those are my kind of my four goals that I'm walking into this with. So you really want to create this like picture in your head of what your goals are. You just want to be really clear on what they are because that's going to give you the motivation. So I have four key things that I'm going to be tracking. So you want to have some items that are going to keep you accountable or things that you can track, things that you can check off a checklist each day and feel like you've accomplished something. It doesn't have to be four things. It could be one thing and maybe it could be five things, but I really encourage you not to be super extreme. Maybe it's one to five and that's it. Or maybe you build. So the first 30 days, maybe you have two items and then the next 30 days you add a few more. So my four key points are going to be water, walking, working out, and protein. So once you've written down your one to five accountability points, now you're going to add metrics to each of these. So what are the goals within each of these accountability points? So for me, for my first one's gonna be water. So for water, I know that you're gonna need between half ounce and ounce per every pound of weight. So you can use that same measurement or something that works for you that you think you'll be able to achieve. That's the measurement that I'm gonna be using. So as long as I can hit that goal every day, I'll get a check mark for water. And then the next one's gonna be walking. So a lot of people use like the standard 10,000 steps per day. But for me, the whole point of putting walking into this is to make sure that I'm getting outside, getting out in nature, getting that kind of moment to myself without any phone or just to like chill and relax. It's just really good for your nervous system and your hormones and your stress levels. So that's my goal within, with adding that walking in. So for me, as long as I hit 15 minutes, that counts as a walk for me. <laughs> a little bit with the Prancer size truck. It's really hot. And then on top of that, that I'm gonna add that I'm gonna need to be walking at least five times per week. So as long as it's 15 minutes, it counts as one point. So my third accountability 
point is working out. So this is the main one. This is the one that I'm really focusing on and wanting to get that habit starting. And I know that it's something I haven't done consistently for a really long time. So for me, what's gonna be attainable is three times a week. I know that if I put that goal, that is gonna be achievable to me and I'm gonna be able to be successful with that. For you, it might be five days a week or you know, it could be even more than that or less than that. You have to pick something that you can achieve. So working out could be really anything. That could be yoga, it could be cycling, it could be running, walking, whatever you want it to be. I'm actually going to be doing F45 for the next 30 days. So that's gonna be the first part of my workout challenge. And then the next 30 days, I think that now that I'll be in that mode, I'll be able to kind of go back to the gym and do my own thing. I find a lot of times when I'm working out at the gym, just starting off again, I just am not pushing myself as much as I should be. So I think that being in a group fitness scenario will be a great start for me. It'll just get me going on not having to think about what I need to do just to show up. Um, they do some body scans at the beginning, at the end, so it'll be nice to have a bit of like quantifiable measurements there to kind of see if that did anything or worked. And my last accountability point is protein. So I know with working out and trying to get toned and tightened and gain muscle, I need that protein. So that's why I'm adding that in there. It could be anything else for you. I didn't want to focus too much on nutrition in this. Nutrition is such a vast and huge thing. And for me, it's so, so, so important. Food is always first. I'm a big believer that food is medicine but I am not by any means an expert on this. I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian. So I really believe that it's important to find an expert on this and you need to work with your own body type and allergies maybe and sensitivities. There's so many things that are beyond the scope of this video. So for this, I'm just gonna be focusing on protein and how much protein is gonna be dependent on you and your goals. So I'm not gonna even throw out any type of like grams or macros there, but that's gonna be something that I'm gonna be focusing on. So find an expert or I can, I'm gonna actually put in a link below, a friend that I have that can do a macro count for you if you're interested. So I'm going to pop down in the description below a link to a download of the checklist that I've created that I'm going to be using throughout this challenge and you can customize it um, for you. Uh, you can even just write down your own checklist on a piece of paper or use like a calendar and just kind of use that to have your check marks on. I know a lot of people who like to use their phone and things like that, but I, I think it's really great to just have that that physical thing where you grab a pen and you check it off a list it just really starts that momentum going of getting things accomplished and it just really makes you feel good that you're getting things done and i think it's a really great tool in being successful okay the easiest way to download these checklists will be through my instagram so if you just head over to instagram go to empty nested and here you can access my profile be sure to give me a follow and send me any dms if you have any questions here you can just hit the emptynested.com link here you've got all the links Links to email, Instagram, YouTube, buy me a coffee, and then we've got the self-care challenge. So if you just click on that, it'll take you to a Google Doc. You can download these two checklists. So we've got two here. The first one will be the weekly self-care checklist that I will be doing. So it's got the goals of walk, workout, protein, and then I've got a four liter water per day goal is a lot but I will definitely be trying to hit three and at the bottom there then you can see the goals for the others so I've got five times for the walking three times for working out and then I want to be hitting that protein goal seven times per week as well and then the bottom right hand corner you'll see a little pink circle and this is where you're going to put your daily count so if you finished a complete sheet it'll be a seven and if you continue on 14 21 so on and so forth so this can be really flexible and you can do this for however long or short that you want to so you'll just print out as many sheets as you need and then I also like to just have day one through seven rather than having like a Monday through Sunday or you know I just I don't want you to have to wait for a certain day of the week just start as soon as you want to I don't know I feel like my favorite day of the week is always just 
on these types of things is to start on Friday. Just it's fine to have more time over the weekend to accomplish goals. And then the second checklist here will be the weekly self-care checklist that you can customize for yourself. So I've left a three liter water goal on there. I mean, you can always just do one or two or three, whatever you want. And then the other four areas I've left open for you to enter any goal that you would like to work towards. So it could be making your bed every day. It could be yoga. It could be reading. It could be journaling. Like it really can be anything that you want it to. I encourage you to take advantage of using these or any other checklist that you'd like to. I'll show you quickly how you can access this on my website as well. So you'll just go on and type in the emptynested.com website pop over and you will see all my links here and there's just the self-care challenge button there you will click that that will take you to google drive so you'll just download the document here <music> So how are we going to quantify our results? There's so many things that you can use to measure results, but the main thing here is that checklist. We've created our goals, we've created our accountability points, our metrics, and all those check marks that we've achieved, that's us accomplishing our goals. So that's a great metric, just that in itself. Other things that you can use are progress photos. You can take pictures. You can use a journal and write down how you're feeling every day. Like that's that's the whole point of why we're doing this is like, how do we feel? We're taking care of ourselves. Do we feel better? Like that's, that's the whole point here. You can use things like body fat percentage or measurements as well. The main one that a lot of people go to first is weight, which is like, no. No! Ah! I know it's just like something we fall into so easily because it's just like easy to just pop on a scale, but it just really isn't that accurate. I'd really encourage you to like not even go there. There's so many reasons on why that isn't a great tool to quantify your results because there's so many things that come into play there. Great to have something visually that you can see. So even writing it down on a piece of paper or having like an old school calendar where you get to put those check marks and having that somewhere where you're going to be able to physically take that pen and check it off. It's just a great feeling to feel accomplished and it just gets that momentum going on getting things done. You just see all the accomplishments and you just want to keep going and it just encourages you to reach your goals. So I just wanted to touch on the whole challenge versus lifestyle thing. Self-care, wellness, fitness, health, all these things should be a lifestyle. Like I'm very well aware of that, but sometimes it's just fun to have a challenge and you know, it's that short-term goal that you can accomplish. So I don't want to give anybody the wrong impression that you can get all of these things done and you're gonna be great after 30 days or 60 days or whatever. No, that's, that's not the point here. The whole point here is to show that you can set goals for yourself, you can set metrics to those and you can quantify those and it's just a great tool to show yourself that you are capable of achieving a lot in a short amount of time and i think these are really building blocks to creating habits and creating that lifestyle all right so we've created our goals we've got our accountability points we've got our metrics we've got our checklist ready to roll so good luck in the next 60 days i'm excited to do some check-ins with everybody comment below on a couple of things that you're going to be working towards and i will see you next time